In this dose calc example, we're going to look at drops per minute, and we're gonna look at the formula versus dimensional analysis. This is from med dosage live session number seven, exact same example, but there's even more GTT per minute problems in that live session. Main goal here, formula versus dimensional analysis. We're going to first look at this formula approach. There are some disadvantages to it, but this example here is okay, I guess, for using the formula. So to find drops per minute, we want to take the volume in milliliters, multiply it by the drop factor, which is drops per milliliter, and we want to divide all that by the time in minutes. Now, where are these numbers coming from? 1,250 is the volume in milliliters. So what you'd have to do here is convert that volume of 1.25 liters to convert from liters to milliliters. You multiply by 1,000 or you move the decimal three places to the right, but that's what we're doing there. The drop factor, 30 drops per milliliter, we're substituting that in. And this 720 represents 720 minutes because this infusion is going to run for 12 hours. There's 60 minutes in one hour, 12 times 60 is 720. So you're still having to do some conversions in this problem, but the formula does work. And if you multiply 1250 times 30 divided by 720, rounding to the nearest whole number, you will get approximately 52 drops per minute. Nothing wrong with that. The next video I'm gonna make, good luck using this formula, which is why I want to go to dimensional analysis now. So dimensional analysis, I like to start with my goal. Our goal is how many drops per minute. So drops is the first word we want to focus on here. And notice we do have 30 drops per milliliter. That's how I'm getting this first fraction. Our goal is drops per minute. I'm starting off with drops at the top of my first fraction, and we do have the drop factor, 30 drops per milliliter. We need to get rid of milliliters because we ultimately need minutes, drops per minute. Let's get rid of milliliters. And I mentioned earlier, this was not in milliliters, but in dimensional analysis, we can tie in that conversion. 1,000 milliliters is equal to one liter. This allows you to cross out the milliliters. And now to get rid of these liters, we bring in those 1.25 liters. And what do we know about this 1.25 liters? It's going to run for 12 hours. That is what the 1.25 liters is connected to. We cross out our liters. Now, if we stopped here, we would have drops per hour, but we need drops per minute. So let's bring in one more conversion. One hour equals 60 minutes. This allows us to cancel out our hours. And now look at what we have. We have drops per minute. And if you multiply all of your top numbers and divide by all of your bottom numbers, round to the nearest whole number, you will get the exact same answer. 